this is Laura GB and in this Power Automate video we're going to look at getting unique values. So let's first start with the problem. Here I've got a list of employees and what I'd like to have is a unique list of the departments within my organisation. Okay, So there's my list and I want to get that into Power Automate but only unique values. So let's go and create a new flow. I'm just going to do an instant one for the time being. And let's call it Uniques. And manually trigger it and click Create. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go and get that workbook. So Excel, um, list rows present in table. OK. And I'm just going to go and get that file. And pick the table which was employees okay and we're going to then the next step we so let's click Save the next step is the only column we're interested in there if we go back to our table and have a quick look is the department one so let's limit it down to one column next and for that we use the select step okay and into the from there, I'm using the new interface, so it's control space bar. So there we go. And my map is going to be a really simple department. Enter value. Department. Okay. Oh, no, don't do that, Laura. Don't type it in. Go and find it. Now the control space bar doesn't work here. So there it is. Department. So there we go. Let's click save and let's just quickly do a test on that. And there we are, it ran successfully. And if I look in that select, my output, sure enough, is a whole load of values. But there are duplicates in there. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to do a new step. And we're going to bring in a compose. So in here, in the inputs, it's going to be a function. Now, if you've got the old method, you've got to do it over here in the dynamic box. But I'm going to go press the FX button. And the command we are looking for is union. OK. So I can put in a couple of returns in this new in this new view, which I quite like. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the output of the select as the first parameter. Now union will join two parts together and we're going to join it to itself. OK. And which means it'll just match the, the joining ones. Now, I thought that would create a huge long list, but actually it doesn't. It's quite amazing. So let's click cross there. And let's go for test again, save and test run the flow and there you go I have got retail finance HR IT and a blank so that is creating a unique list of values in Power Automate if you haven't already please press subscribe take care now mm -hmm.